Defensive secondary has been talked about a lot this season. Um, people are expecting a lot of big things from it. Do you feel that pressure? You just embrace it and try to get better? Like, what's kind of the thought process with kind of expecting to be the leading unit on the defensive side of the ball? Um, being a vet, um, me, DJ, Jalen, Keontae, we just working to get better each and every day. Uh, we have a very talented group. Uh, we got younger guys that I, I feel like can play for us. Um, K and Lee, you got Temp, Chance. Um, I feel like those guys can help play for us and provide depth also. Um, just getting them guys in, learning the playbook, and just get them rolling. I feel like we can be a very talented secondary. Uh, how much has this defense grown just over the course of camp? Um, it's definitely grown a lot. Uh, when we first got here, Coach Roberts, he put in a whole different scheme. Um, just bringing it, everyone in on the off days and trying to get a good understanding of things. Um, and I think they, they did that pretty well, and I think we'll be all right. How, how crazy is it that you add guys even from spring? You bring in Steven and, and you, know, you got a couple of new front guys, linebackers. I mean, second, uh, how, how crazy is it that you're adding pieces that you're going to use even during the summer? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Jalen Jalen McLeod and Sting, um, I think he, he's like a mini gorilla. Um, he's very energetic. Um, he's ready to play every snap. Um, and I think those two will be very good for us up front. Yeah. When you when you look at at this defense, what's the steps you guys need to take between now and, and opening day here, week and a half or so? Um, I feel like, in my opinion, just trying to be consistent each and every day. Um, don't let a bad day determine how everything goes for the rest of the week. Um, if you make mistakes, um, just bounce it. I mean, shake it, and you'll be ready to go. Just so, just being consistent. Coach Free said last week you guys maybe as a unit kind of flipped the switch a little bit. Uh, is that something, is that a conversation that was had within, you know, the position room, or is it just something everybody was just like, this is the last week of fall camp, it's time to turn it up a notch? No, nah, I, I, that was actually a surprise to me when I seen it, but um, I get what he was, I get where he was coming from um, because at the beginning of the second day, we wasn't getting as much production, so towards the end of fall camp, we started getting our hands on more balls, creating more turnovers. So. That was his gist on that. What have you, what have you seen from these receiving core? I mean, they're, they're a lot, it seems like they're a lot better than last year, a lot deeper. What have, what's it been like going up against them during practice? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a very talented group, um, especially uh, it's Shane Hooks. I've been going against him every day. I feel like he's getting me better each and every day. Um, you got Nick, a very tall, lanky receiver, long strider. Um, he can definitely come down with some big time balls. You got Jay Farage, Barrier. They kind of like the similar type, but both shifty guys that can definitely make big plays for us. So I can't wait to see what they bring September second. I want to. I can't wait to see it myself. And were, you, were you guarding Shane when he made the catch on Saturday? Oh no. Nah. Okay. <laughs> How different is this group? Because the numbers are wide receiver. I mean, they rotate <coughs> rotate a bunch of guys. There's a lot of guys that are going to play. How different is that when you look at, at them across and seeing you know, just wave after wave of guys coming? Uh, I think being able to rotate those guys would definitely create problems for defenses because um, when you got good receivers that you can rotate, you can someone get tired, you can bring in a fresh receiver and pretty much do it just, where it's no drop off. So the whole group is talented, so I think they'll be a good group. What, what about Caleb Burton, a newcomer a guy, a slot guy? What, what have you seen from him? So uh, he's very fast, I know that much. Um, I think he'll be a playmaker for us, too. And Jake, Jake Fair, what have you seen from him from year one and year two? Uh, he's definitely progressed. You can tell he's learning the defenses. Um, just trying to, I mean, progress-wise, I feel like he's getting in more relationship with his coach, um, learning how he can beat. DBs each and every day. I mean, he's definitely coming in, putting in the work every day, and I can't wait to see what he can do. Now, there's rumors that Ron, uh, Ron Roberts likes to make jokes. In, in oh meetings, yeah, but they're not funny. <laughs> yeah, he always make a joke. As soon as he walk in the room, he'll make a joke, and he'll be like, "Why are you guys not laughing?" <laughs> and he get kind of mad. Then he'll just go on about the film. And then Crime Dog, what is it like having him as a position coach or, you know? Uh, I had him my freshman yeah. and sophomore year, so he, it's nothing new to me. I'm kind of used to how he go. He very old school, so it's he kind of funny. Uh, it's new to the uh, newcomers, though. They, Well, he's not a strict uh, coach, so he kind of it's easier for the players to kind of pick up on him and learn what he's trying to do and learn that he's not coaching. Well, he's coaching a player each and every day, so.
I think they like it.